Hi friends! I have a list here and two bags of books on the ground. Those are some of the books that I'm thinking about reading in May. Those are some options. I'm not going to read all those books. I'm hoping to read about 15 books in May. We'll see if that happens. But this is a lot more than 15. <laughs> I have reading obligations. So I'm going to tell you about some of the books that I have here, some of the physical books that I have here, as well as some ebooks that I'm planning to read and books that I've ordered that are on their way to me. So I'm participating in a few things, a few reading things in May. First is the Run Right Reads Book Club, which you know, Run Right Reads Book Club this year, we're reading the Caribbean. And in May, we are visiting Haiti. So the two books that we're gonna be reading for the Run Right Reads Book Club, God Loves Haiti by Dimitri Elias Leger, I think is how the author's name is pronounced and The Deal Breaker by Edwidge Danticat. So I don't have physical copies yet, so I'll post, I'll post images on the screen so you will see what those two books look like if you're, if you're hoping to join us, planning to join us. We'd love to have you. Aside from that, I am judging this round of the BookTube Prize. We have six books to read for, the, for this round and two months to read the six books first month which was in April I only finished one of the books so I have five books that I need to read for book two prize judging in May those five titles are the dragon the giant the women by way to more eat the Buddha by Barbara Demick uncanny valley by Anna Wiener the end of everything by Katie Mack and inferno by Catherine Cho I'm also participating in Springathon this month. Springathon is the readathon that's hosted by some of the nature writing enthusiasts here on BookTube, Doris and Heidi and Emma and Natalie. And I don't know if there are other hosts, but I'll link someone's announcement video down below if you haven't heard about Springathon and want to check it out. The readathon is in the first two weeks of May and the goal, like I said, is to read nature writing. And so I have some options. The the organizers of the readathon they have a few word prompts four pairings first prompt is migration slash home the second is bloom slash decay next is forage slash hibernate and then fourth is buzz slash stillness i don't know which of those prompts these books will meet but i'd like to see if i could read something <laughs> something that qualifies so i have five options one is Sea People, The Puzzle of Polynesia. This is, yeah, you know, it's studying the history, I think, of Hawaii and Hawaii to the Pacific Islands, Hawaii to New Zealand to Easter Island. I bought this one from Book Outlet a few, few weeks back and I'd like to read it. I'm not sure what it's about but I want to read it. It says the, it's the quest to understand who first settled the islands of the remote Pacific, where they came from, how they got there, and how we know the puzzle of Polynesia. So I would love to get to this one during Springathon, but we'll see. I also have a book that I got from the publishers a few months ago, and I didn't get a chance to read it yet, so would like to read it this month if I could. This is Under a White Sky, The Nature of the Future by Elizabeth Colbert. She's a Pulitzer Prize winning nature writer. She wrote The Sixth Extinction. And yeah, I don't know what any of these books are about. So, you know, you'll hear about me reading them in my vlogs, hopefully. Next is The Wood for Trees, One Man's Long View of Nature, written by Richard Forte, who was a naturalist. Most of the authors of these books are naturalists, let me not say that. He was a paleontologist at the Natural History Museum in London. And after he retired, he purchased some land, I think four acres of woodland. And he decided to just kind of observe what happened on that property and use that as a way to study nature, study nature from a different perspective, as opposed to how he had been studying nature and collecting artifacts for most of his career. Now he was going to be collecting curiosities of living things. So I started reading this and it is beautifully written, poetically written um, nature writing. So I'm loving this one. I also have Darwin Comes to Town by Menno, that name. And this one is a little bit about natural selection. Menno is one of a growing number of urban ecologists studying how our man-made environments are accelerating and changing the evolution of the animals and plants around us. 
so would love to get to this one as well but we'll see and finally i have phenomenal this is a hesitant adventurous search for wonder in the natural world this is by leanne kenyon and come back please yeah you wanna some crackers the crackers crackers i promise mommy not gonna be here long and finally i have a phenomenal and finally, there is phenomenal, hesitant, adventurous search for wonder in the natural world. This is by Leanne Kenyon. And this one, short synopsis of the synopsis. Children have the ability to marvel over simple things in nature. Yup, I understand that completely. Leaves, pebbles, twigs. When she becomes a mother, Leanne Kenyon starts to question, could experiencing Earth's most dazzling natural phenomena make the world similarly new again? So this is the story of how she chases eclipses, auroras, and other natural phenomena around the globe to reawaken her sense of wonder. I definitely want to read this one, hoping to get to it during Springathon. So those are five options that I'm thinking about reading during Springathon. We'll see which of these word prompts and pairings I can accomplish. So we'll see. So the final category of books are books that I've gotten from publishers and want to review. So I can meet deadlines as they've asked me to review on specific dates or just so that I can review the books so I can ask for more books. <laughs> so these are in no particular order other than how they appear in my lap. First one is A Spark by Claudia Kalb. This is how genius ignites from child prodigies to late bloomers. Looking forward to getting to this one because I want to see how, you know, what I learn from it, maybe for myself, but also how to influence how I teach my daughter. Runaway Train. This is a novel by Lee Matthew Goldberg and this one is I think a YA novel. Looking forward to getting to that one. This is the memoir of an African man who came to the United States and became a Navy SEAL um, and he's descended from royalty, Nigerian royalty I think, transformed by Remy Adeleke. So You'll be hearing more me you'll, so you'll be hearing me talk more about these books you know as the weeks go by then we have the halo conspiracy by michael murphy this is another novel this one is a little futuristic set in 2038 and it's about crime solving looking forward to reading that one another book that is probably not in my wheelhouse but i'm interested to check it out i didn't realize it was going to be quite so big so let's see how that works this is a new adult fiction and this is the academy saga by cj daly we'll see <laughs> we'll see you know i like to read things that are a little different sometimes and see if my taste if my reading tastes change then we have preachers and sneakers authenticity in an age of for-profit faith and wannabe celebrities this one is by ben kirby i'm really interested in right in reading about religion and how people perceive religion and religious practices within christianity and or outside of it then we have don't give the enemy a seat at your table by louis giglio subtitled it's time to win the battle of your mind and finally, How Beautiful We Were by Imbola Bui. This one was a gift from Penguin Random. For a new release, I had hoped to have read it by now so I could post pretty pictures on Instagram and you know get everybody liking my pictures. But I haven't read it yet. So looking forward to reading this one in May, even though it doesn't have a time deadline attached to my review. So yeah, those are some of the books that I'm hoping to read in May. Would love to hear about your reading plans, what you're hoping to read, what you're planning to read, what readathons or challenges you're planning to participate in. Of course, I would love if you could join the Run Right Reads book club. I'll link that in the description box down below. Join Springathon if you can. Read some nature writing. I'll link announcement video from one of the hosts in the description box down below as well. And just in general, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Two thumbs up would be great. <laughs> Let me know in the comments your thoughts and subscribe if you haven't already. We'd love to have you come back for future videos if you're new here. And thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, happy reading. Bye. What happened? Dirty, dirty, un. You touched it? 
Let me touch it again. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they're your friends. Mm.